mind when I talk about Georgia. It's the color in your eyes of a summertime shining on you. I remember every. What is going on, guys? Um, I actually got my tripod fixed a few videos ago. Anyways, um, as you can see, the truck looks really teeny. Um, just because of the angle I have, but if I really stand up to it, it's a lot taller than me. Anyways, I always say that, um, we actually just came back from Ocean City. Um, I drove down there, dad drove back, uh, went down there, um, just for a little getaway for the, uh, weekend Friday through yesterday morning. Um, saw a few of my buddies down there. We had a little bit of cruising going on. Cruised a little bit, cruised like three or four times, pretty fun. Bunch of clubs down there, it's really cool. Sucks I have to miss out this week because I know a bunch of people are coming up this week. Um, but as you can see, the chrome is not done on this yet. Um, I'm actually really thinking about um, painting the chrome on the wheels like a different color, like a, like a purple color to match my interior lights. And I'm also looking at um, ring lights. Um, before I install the underglow and rock lights, stuff like that, I want to um, get the ring lights first before I install it. The other stuff, because I think it's going to look kind of funny. Um, just because underglow on a lifted truck is kind of it's weird, I guess you can say, without a bunch of lights, because it's so high off the ground that it doesn't, I guess you could say, disperse all over the ground like a car would. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get uh, ring lights. Um, whenever I get the chance to. Um, as you can see, the stuff is still chrome. Um, but I did do the front um, Thursday. I think it was Thursday. I did it Thursday, washed and waxed the truck Friday. But I did do the grill Thursday. And I also did the bow tie Thursday. Took it off, scraped off the paint on the inside, sanded it down. Um, which I probably shouldn't have sanded it down, but I did because the paint that they actually apply to it on the inside, um, it was actually stuck inside the plastic, and I thought maybe I can get it off, but I couldn't. Um, but what I, the sanding did is kind of give it like a brown color when I painted it um, because it's not as clear, as well as the clear piece, the bow tie, is actually has like a yellow tint to it to make the gold really pop out of it, but it was just in... The bow tie was all in bad condition. You can tell there was water and stuff in there. So I put that bow tie back on there and I sealed it up with some silicone so no water will get in there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've really done um, since the last video. As well as I also did the chrome on the fu uh, flex fuel little rectangular piece. I may just take it off, I don't know. Um, but I did it on there so I could see how it would turn out with my lettering. Um, I know it's kind of like the same as a grill, but I want to kind of get an idea. Um, so I'll go ahead and um, what I'll do is I'll bring y'all guys around the back, show you that, and then I'm going to go ahead and hop in here and back it up. So as you can see, a lot of it's still chrome. Still need to paint this, um, the black color. Um, don't worry about that license plate. If you do try to get it, I already found a way to stop people from trying to get me in trouble because it's already happened once. Um, I got that taken care of. Um, but as you can see, it turned out pretty nice. It is hard to paint around the edges without getting it on the paint. Um, but as you can see, it's blacked out. It's like a very gloss black. I think it looks pretty pretty decent. As you can see, the tires are sticking out pretty good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and back this thing up and I'll get back to y'all. And there is pretty much the first look of the front grill. Now, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it. It may look still like a little bit chrome, um, like right here, because there, the sun is over on that side. Um, and it's kind of reflecting and stuff. Because I'm making a video late because I'm actually going to driving school right now. Um, today was my first day. Next week will be my exam, and then I'll pretty much be able to get my provisionals, and I'll be able to ride with you guys. Um, and I'll get back, I'll talk about that later, why I just said that. But anyways, it turns out very nice. I actually messed up on the first coat, and I'll tell you what I did. I thought this stuff at first was like a paint, 
Um, so to speak, it is a spray paint, um, but it's actually like a spray, it's more of a spray tint. Because when you spray it on there, you can still see the, the chrome. The first coat, you can still see the chrome, it just darkens it up. So it's exactly pretty much a tint, it's a spray tint. Um, so what I was doing, I wasn't paying attention, like I said, I thought it was like a paint, and I was going like this, kind of like overlapping some. And I did that with the whole thing, and I realized, I was like, well shoot, I just screwed this up. Um, once I did the second coat, I realized that, because it was all it started to get real blotchy. So I was like, you know what, why don't we try to make you know, the best out of this? So what I did was I tried to make the whole thing blotchy. I did this, like, I used to say layered um, in different spots. So there's blotches, you know, here, 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 here. But it's not on the grill pieces, the mesh pieces. It's only on the outlining part. And basically what this did is it gave it like a camouflage look in the sun. It looks perfect. I like it. I, you know, it looked cool if it was solid, but I actually like it. It's kind of like unique. You know, nobody else is going to have this. Somebody right now watching my video may have a 07 Chevy Tahoe, may lift it up, put big 35s like I got, may do everything that I did, get everything on the inside, but how are they going to replicate this? They can't. So I thought that was really cool. Took this bow tie off. The inner part actually comes off. This part is actually coming up because the silicone didn't seal right there. So I'm out to fix that. Um, but basically this inside of this bow tie, so basically this whole assembly comes out. You just gotta loosen up two nuts on the back side and this whole plastic thing comes out. There's like two prongs right here and right here that go all the way through. Um, but basically what I did is I took this out once I got the grill off and I also took the inside of the bow tie out. And that's what the color comes from. So what I did was I tried to scrape off all of the paint. As you can see, there's still little bits of gold paint. Um, but that was actually inside of it. Um, spray painter, like I said, very easy. So yeah, it turned out pretty awesome. I think it looks pretty awesome. And another thing is, is I am looking at new headlights. Um, I was thinking about getting regular OEM headlights. Uh, original um, equipment manufacturer. So basically what it is, is plug and play. Um, I don't want to do any extra wiring because I hate, hate electronic stuff on this thing. I can do all the mechanics, but the electronic, no. Um, so basically what it is, is instead of it being chrome on the inside, they kind of like reflect it, it's black. Now I looked into getting this open, but it's actually welded shut. So no water and stuff gets in there. Um, and it's like a plastic weld. And I don't want to have I don't want to have nothing to do with it. I can weld, but I don't want to have nothing to do with plastic because that's a pain in the butt. Um, so I was thinking about painting this all this chrome black, so it kind of have like a blacked out look, except the inside of the light, so it reflects still. Um, just have that tinted up a little bit like this, and it would still reflect very well. It'd just be real dark. Um, I also was looking into like a tint, but you cannot tint your headlights or tail lights in the state of Maryland. Um, so that was a no-go, um, so I found headlights, they're actually halo lights, they look pretty sick, there's one halo here, and one halo here, and they actually have three lights right here, all of them are LEDs, um, even the halo lights are LEDs, and it's actually a projector that makes it look like, like a ring, but it's an LED bulb in there, and it looks like, it looks like an electric um, LED ring around it. It looks awesome. And they're, it's like a black color in the background. So let's think about doing that. All right. Now that this video is getting towards five minutes, I want to talk about the club I was accepted into about two months ago. So about a month ago, um, this started to get a lot of drama. Now this brought the group to last week, not really texting in the group chat. So good thing I did not get their Drippy Illusion sticker. Um, I don't really like their logo or their name. In fact, Drippy, I think it's a little bit, um, sorry for the people that like that name. I think it's a little bit ghetto for me. Um, just to stick on this, Drippy is not really a nice word that I'd like to have in my vehicle. Um, but yeah, so that happened, they're not really talking. Um, and there was nobody in Maryland, so I couldn't ride with anybody, so it kind of sucked. Um, and then yesterday, somebody in this club hit me on Snap and asked if I wanted to join their club because they're 
the, uh, the, my truck was real nice. And he was like, send me the pictures, more pictures of the grill. Um, you know, what it looks like. Cause I told him I redid the grill so it doesn't look the same. Um, you know, tires, rims, etc. So I did that. And 30 seconds later, I was added in two group chats of them, uh, the club. And then I, immediately I was promoted um, to Maryland, or president of Maryland uh, for this club. So basically what this whole club is, is this club is going to branch off into 50 mini clubs eventually. So there's going to be one president per each state. And that does not change unless the president drops out of the club. Which I don't think I will because it's going to be pretty fun. And basically what they do is they talk to people and they invite them. Get them to send pictures um, and I check them out and well the president checks them out and if they like it they get accepted. Um, and basically all the states are going to create their mini clubs. Um, and y'all guys will be in the group chat of the whole entire big club. So basically we're going to make 50 mini um, clubs or maybe mini could be you know 500 trucks in the state you know mini doesn't really mean mini but anyways we're gonna be branching off I'm president I've already got one person in my group um, that fast this morning um, but we're gonna create little groups and they're all gonna be a part of this one big group um, so it's gonna be really cool um, I haven't had a problem with anything yet um, I, I'm gonna find out from the owner of the whole club of uh, the owner of the whole club uh, this evening if the one guy that I invited and uh, accepted in can stay so they, they either leave or, or they stay or they get kicked and if he says kick that means you're being a jerk you're being, being too flaunty um, yeah so we don't want anybody that's gonna be a jerk you know flaunting their truck every snap that they send is about their truck you know mine's better than yours Ford sucks, Chevy sucks, Ram suck. We don't need any of that. It's all, I guess it's kind of like a family thing. You know, you just ride. Um, so it's going to be really cool. And that's why I said I can ride with y'all. So if you guys have cool rides, it doesn't necessarily have to be a truck, but if it's a car, it's got to be pretty nice uh, for me to let you guys ride next to me on the road. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, just send me pictures of your trucks. More than likely, I'll probably accept you. Um, especially now because there's not many vehicles. I mean, it's just me and this one other guy that's in my little group. Um, so yeah, hit me up on Snap or Instagram and send me a picture of your, your trucks and I'll go ahead and add you in. So this is going to be really cool. Um, now that's if, in your, that's if you're in Southern Maryland or Maryland in general, because I'm the president of the whole thing. So just let me know and I'll probably add you in. Um, but they, it's pretty much all you guys. All I got for this video, sorry, stumbling. Um, but yeah, that's really all I got. I hope you guys kind of like enjoyed me just talking, showing you guys what I've done to the truck since my last video. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. There's a lot of crap coming for this truck, so yeah, stay tuned. See you guys in the next one. Peace.